One keyboard shortcut that I like to use while editing MATLAB code is Alt followed by the up down keys. Some of you may know that in release 2010b, we introduced a feature called variable and function highlighting, which highlights all the instances of the currently selected variable or user function. Here we have selected a variable, and here are the other instances of that variable being used. You can also see them uh, listed on the right hand side here too. But what you can also do is press the Alt key and use the up down arrows to navigate between the different instances of the variable. Here I'm going to jump up to the definition. Let's say I wanted to change the value, so I'm going to go to the definition, change its value, jump back down to where it is used and continue working. Let's say I wanted to change the, the name of the variable. Now if I want to change it everywhere, I need to change it up in the definition. So I'm going to go back up in the definition. Let's, I'm going to call it new shift enter. We'll change it in the rest of the script. Perhaps I now want to make a new variable. I'm going to use it in a similar way to the other one. So I'm going to jump back up to this variable, make a copy of its definition, modify it. Now this, um, and then change its name. Now this new variable has no other instances of uh, it in the, the script but this one does, and I'm going to use it near the other one so I can jump to where this variable is used to help me um, get to where I'm going to use the new variable. So, so let's say I'm going to use it down here. Like that. And finally, where I also think is useful is in debugging. So let's say you're stopped at a breakpoint and you're trying to understand the value of a variable. You can go to its definition and look at what variables it is a function of, and then jump up to uh, where they are defined. And here you can continue going on backwards up to see where variable values come from until you understand why a variable's value is what it is. So there were a few examples of using Alt plus the up down keys while editing MATLAB code. For more information on this feature, see the links I've included below.